topic is the idea of Maxwell relations. This is named after James Clerk Maxwell, uh, who came up with these relationships, um, derived them. Um, and what they're useful for is we have lots of thermodynamic functions that we can't always measure directly. Things like entropy, right? We, there's no such thing as an entropy meter that you can stick into your system and measure, oh, this is the amount of entropy that it has. And so we'd like to be able to find uh, entropy, enthalpy, internal energy. How do we find these values um, in terms of things that we can actually measure? So things like measuring, pressure, volume, temperature, those are things we can measure. How can we relate those to things like entropy, enthalpy, Gibbs free energy, etc.? And so that's where this idea of Maxwell relations comes in. So we're going to start with the, the first law of thermodynamics as an example. But these, these relationships can also be derived for many other, um, many other state functions that we've talked about. Uh, and we'll, we'll sort of go through that step by step. So first, we'll start with the first law. First law, du is equal to dq plus dw. But if we consider a reversible process, we can derive that this is equal to TDS minus PDV. So this is sort of our first place we're going to start. And one thing we can notice, and this is something we've, we've um, looked at a little bit already, but just to review and reiterate this, is that we have uh, differential terms here in S and, and V. So we can say, well, that means that U depends on changes in S, changes in V, so U must be a function of S and V. And that means we can write out the total differential of u in terms of s and v. So uh, similar to what we did um, in the last chapter, we are looking at just writing down the um, you know, fundamental uh, definition of a total differential in terms of partial derivatives. So we can say that this is equal to du ds at constant v times ds plus du dv at constant s dv. Now these particular relationships are not going to be terribly useful, but it's a good starting point and an example that we can use for other relationships that are much more useful. Now if we compare our expression up here with this expression down here, we can see now we have matching ds and dv terms, just like we have here and here. And so that means that the things multiplying them uh, are can be related as well. So this partial derivative is equal to temperature. And this partial derivative, well, let me do that in green, this partial derivative is equal to the negative of pressure. All right, so there's a, those are two relationships that we can derive here, is that du ds at constant v is equal to t meaning the change in internal energy with respect to entropy at constant volume is equal to temperature. That one's not terribly useful um, because we can't measure um, entropy directly. And we can also say that du dv at constant s is equal to the negative of the pressure. All right, and so there's one more step we can take. There's one additional relationship that we can find, and that's coming back to this idea of cross derivatives. And this is the Maxwell relation. Um, so these, these relationships here, these are not Maxwell relations. The Maxwell relation comes from equ uh, using the cross derivatives. So you may remember uh, when we talked about partial derivatives um, that cross derivatives, right, if we take, say for example here, du ds at constant v, and then take the derivative of that with respect to volume, At constant entropy, that is equal to doing it the opposite way. So d ds du dv at constant s v here. All right, and so this cross derivative is equal. And what we can do is recognize that well we have some thermodynamic functions that can be plugged in here, right? This one is temperature, and this one is negative pressure. So we can say that dt dv at constant s is equal to the negative of dp ds 
at constant v. And so this is our Maxwell relation that comes from internal energy. This is substituting from these definitions above, or definitions over here. This particular example isn't very useful uh, because we're thinking about things in ISO, you know, constant entropy, um, constant volume. But there are many other, but there are three other equations we can do this with that lead to much more useful relationships. Um, basically, we're going to follow this exact same process uh, and derive a bunch and several other relationships, and those will be useful as we continue on into thermodynamics.